Hey guys, this is Full Gaming Instincts here, and welcome to tutorial 16 on how to create a first person shooter game in Unity. So, uh, first off, if you're new to my series, I recommend you go and view my previous tutorials and then come to this one so you'll have a more better understanding of what's going on and how we've arrived at this point in our game. So, if you're following this far, well, you'll know that today we'll be doing some continuing, you should say, with some fine fixes to our game because, uh, series will be coming to a close uh, in the next tutorial so yeah that's pretty much that uh, no not to worry though uh, I will be uh, helping you guys out because I have a new series that I started a few weeks ago on how to make a zombie who's supposed to shoot the game with the unity game engine so uh, I'll still be here to help you guys out but as I said from the beginning of this series this is gonna be a pretty basic uh, uh, concept of how to actually create a game in Unity, a first person shooter game in Unity. So, do keep that much in mind. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. Now, I'm gonna just show you guys pretty quickly uh, once again how you can add some grass to your game. It's pretty simple. Just select your terrain, go next to this, uh, next to the tree, the icon next to the tree, and we'll just go down to edit details. We'll go to add grass texture, and we'll click on this circle here, and we'll type grass just to find it pretty quickly and note don't select these here these textures here you need to select this one or this one now let me just show you what's gonna happen if you select uh, that one when we add the grass in the game you notice it, it's popping up in some squares not exactly what we want so basically what you need to do is just go edit or you can remove it your choice and we'll just select this one and as you can see uh, the back in the scene view here the grass uh, texture change and it's more grass more game like the good stuff so what you can do you can change the color if you want to to whatever you can uh, carry the width down a bit you know as you can see the uh, grass is is being changed in in our game so uh, you can play around with these settings uh, set it to your liking you know and uh, just yeah just set it to your liking you can set this however I'm just doing it randomly you know and as you can see when we change up these settings the grass changes so yeah that's pretty much that now if we hit play we have grass in our game it's that simple so yeah that's pretty much that now today um, if you guys are following you'll know that uh, today I'll be showing you guys uh, the particle system in unity how we can actually uh, you know use some particle effects in our game so yeah that's pretty much that let's get down to that so uh, first off you need to check for the link in the description and download the package and import it into your project good stuff you get this folder to tool 16 within that folder I just got got this particle this simple particle pack from the unity asset store you can check out unity asset store and you can not complete project uh, particle system and you guys can, there's some you can pay for them and there are some free ones available so yeah that's that's that you guys can check check it out see whichever particle system you like and uh, download it and import it and you guys can use it however now I'm just gonna be showing you guys uh, pretty quickly it is sort of illusion that I have this device for my game where uh, we're in my well it's in dead speed my game called dead speed uh where i actually spawned enemies and it looked like they were teleporting all right now i moved around pretty quickly in the game so you guys didn't really get to see the effect but uh, i'll show you guys the effect close up today so what we'll need to do if you guys haven't already uh, set up your basic city meaning you don't have your spawner script and uh, spawn points is for your enemy to spawn from and your waypoint you can just go and drag those stuff in here and uh, we'll get down to business now all you need to do is very simple if you haven't uh, made your spawn spawn and so forth you spawn points spawn a game object with the spawner script to attach to it now you can go ahead and do that and what we'll need to do or you can make a prefab of it just remember that so all we need to do here is just go and just set this at one set this at one 
And what we'll do now, we'll just uh, create an empty game object and we'll rename it as spawn one. Good stuff. And uh, it's very simple. All we need to do, you can just set this wherever. You can set it just to ensure that it's somewhere in the air because you want a sort of illusion like the teleporting from someone to another dimension or something. So what you need to do now is just go to the uh, tutorial 16 folder. All right open that up open up resources and we'll go down to flare and we'll take the this one here and we'll just drag it in our game I already did that as you can see it's right here and uh, what we need to do now is just go to the uh, explosion and we want to take the shockwave and we're gonna just drag it in there now uh, on these particles uh, particle effects there's some settings here that you guys can play around with you know just ensure that this is set to looping you know and uh, you can set the start size as to how exactly how big you want it and so forth there's some other cool uh, uh, settings here that you guys can play around with it's, it's very straightforward so yeah uh, no need for me to actually get into that so all we need to do now is just go to our spawn one and we'll copy our position our x position and we'll go and we'll select these two and we'll just paste it right there and we'll go back to our spawn one we'll take our y position and copy it and we'll copy uh, select these two and we'll just paste it right there and then we'll go and we'll take the z position copy it and then we'll select these two and we'll just paste it right there and as you can see it have a sort of illusion like a sort of teleportation system all we need to do now is just take these two uh, particle effects and just drop them onto the spawn one and we just parented those two particle effects to the uh, empty game object called spawn one so all we need to do now is just go to our spawner just take this here and just drag it where it says uh, elements zero and on the despawn points drag it here and we'll go to our uh, tutorial 2 folder go to the enemy new and we'll take I'm just gonna take the robot new for instance here good stuff and we'll just hit play and you'll see the sort of illusion as if they're teleporting from some other dimension of some kind all right so where are these Ah, they're right here. Now, as you can see, there they're teleporting. All right, they have a sort of effect as if they're teleporting from some other dimension of some kind. So yeah, yeah, that's pretty much that. Now I told you guys about the uh, the spawn time and so forth. You guys can set up the spawn time, and it works out pretty good if you have uh, multiple uh, spawn points. So they won't be spawning from one area all the time so yeah that's pretty much that now remember your prefabs guys uh, let's just go to the scene 2 pretty quickly the base the tutorial 1 sorry basic terrain tutorial 1 and just select this here and just go here now uh, you guys may notice that uh, when you go to your basic city you know you might have to reroute everything you know like putting your pause menu and so forth in there but you notice that I already have it it's pretty simple all you need to do is just go to your tutorial 4 folder go to your player roll the prefab and select a player all you need to do is just take your first person controller that you already have in your game here and just drag it right here so what basically happened is all of the uh, you can get some errors and so forth but they're not really important what you basically did is let you override all of the settings that were already set on your first person controller that you have here already so basically you have like your pause menu and all the components attached here you just need to like put in your uh, score over there you know because you're gonna know that you know notice they get some errors and so forth so your score your GUI and stuff like that you just need to just drag you can make prefabs of these stuff and just drag them into your game and yeah they're pretty much that there and you guys can stop playing your game so yeah that's pretty much it guys for this tutorial hope you guys like it if you do you can give me a thumbs up uh, do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my channel and in the next tutorial we'll be wrapping up with our series we'll be uh, I'll be showing you guys how you can uh, build your game and just go through everything we did and 
just ensure that everything's up to date and we'll go ahead and build our game and we'll play it out of the unity editor uh, software so yeah that's pretty much that once again hope you like this tutorial if you do you can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my tutorial series on how to create a first person shooter game in unity so until next time continue making games guys so i'll see you peace